Welcome back, uh, dear viewers. Uh, now it's time for our second segment for today in Cairo Local Time. And we will talk about Egypt's relations with the Arab countries and uh, to what extent Egypt has uh, regained its pivotal role in the region under the leadership of President Afet Hassisi. And now we are joined over the phone uh, by uh, Minister Mohammed Arabi, former foreign minister. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, so, sir, as I've just mentioned, uh, that Egypt uh, has regained uh, its pivotal role in the Arab uh, region. And uh, uh, also, uh, today we have just seen that uh, President Afet Sisi has uh, received uh, a senior Libyan officials uh, to discuss uh, the Libyan uh, crisis and Egypt's role in mediating in uh, this uh, 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 crisis. So, uh, how do you evaluate uh, Egypt's uh, role in mediating in the Libyan crisis? Uh, as you know, Egypt always you know, plays an important role yes. uh, not to uh, reach a peaceful solution from the situation in Libya. We consider uh, Libya as yes. a neighboring country, an important country for Egypt. Stability in that country has a tremendous impact you know, on our yes. stability also. So that's why we are paying more attention in order to uh, try to reach an, uh, an agreement between the, the parties there. Hmm. Egypt always has, uh, you know, an important uh, and, uh, pivotal relationship with all the parties in Libya. Yes. And uh, I think uh, in the past we uh, proved that we were instrumental in uh, having, uh, you know, a lot of progress on the ground there. Yes. By, you know, putting uh, this uh, roadmap, uh, the Cairo Declaration, and uh, I think uh, it was a very good base for the parties in order to achieve a sort of compromise. Uh, to reach a final solution to everything. Yes. So Egypt uh, will continue to, uh, to play this role. And, uh, I think uh, we can be more active, of course, in order to uh, ask the foreign uh, troops and uh, the interference of some regional countries yes. to be stopped. And I think we are in that uh, you know, uh, endeavor uh, mm. for the last uh, few years. And uh, Egypt also was uh, pivotal and important you know, in gathering the international community to have uh, a common stand in order to encourage the uh, Libyan parties to be more uh, forthcoming, to reach an agreement and uh, to have uh, stability in their country. Yes. So, uh, sir, also Egypt is keen to improve its ties with all neighboring Arab countries. So today also Prime Minister Mustafa Madbouli held a meeting with the visiting Qatari Deputy Prime Minister and uh, Foreign Minister Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdurrahman Al-Thani and Qatar's Minister of Finance mm -hmm. Ali uh, bin Ahmed Al-Qawari, a number of officials from the two countries. And they discussed a number of uh, investments and partnerships in Egypt with a total value of $5 billion in the coming phase. So in your opinion, how do you see uh, uh, the cooperation be between the two countries uh, uh, and the Egypt's keenness to attract more investors from the Gulf region? Yeah, I think Egypt and Qatar, uh, they, you know, have embar embarked on a new uh, phase of uh, good relation between yes. the two countries. And they will uh, resume, you know, the normal relationship between uh, people and, of course, uh, Official, uh, the visit, uh, the current visit, I think it is a clear uh, demonstration that uh, the, uh, there is a, a sort of progress in our relationship. Yes. And uh, we already, you know, uh, looking to the future, and uh, we already also, you know, solved a lot of problems and challenges which uh, were facing the normal relation between the two countries. And I think uh, both countries are looking now. Uh, forward and they are trying to have uh, um, more cooperation and uh, common positions and stands in different issues which is now prevailing in our uh, yes. uh, in the Arab. Uh, also deep and historical brotherly ties joins Egypt with the Saudi Arabia, Kuwait and the United Arab Emirates. Uh, so uh, President of Sisi paid the official visits to these countries recently. So uh, what is uh, the importance of boosting bilateral ties uh, with uh, zo those countries at times of uh, global uncertainty and war? 
Uh, well, it is normal because, you know, Egypt is always looking to the Arab world, especially the United yes. States, as part of the national security of this country. And I think President Sisi, since he's uh, assumed his uh, presidency, I think he is always paying uh, a lot of visits to these countries and always uh, demonstrate the will yes. of Egypt uh, to be uh, beside these countries and try to secure the, uh, the, uh, the uh, you know, the security of these countries, and uh, I think uh, Egypt proved that they are we are instrumental in having, you know, peace and security in the Gulf states, and I think uh, all the Gulf states we really appreciate what uh, has been done by Egypt uh, since, uh, let's say, for the last few years. Yes. Uh, so, uh, sir, also uh, President Fatah al-Sisi in his meeting with the Saudi monarch said that Egypt will not allow the security and stability of the Gulf countries to be compromised. So what are the measures Egypt uh, takes to support and uh, consolidate uh, the Gulf security? Yeah, sure. I think this is uh, part of our strategy that uh, any threat to the Gulf states, I yes. think it will be a real threat to Egypt also. And uh, we cannot ignore uh, any uh, destabilization in any of the Gulf states uh, because uh, we are connected and in the meantime anything will happen there. I think it will have a much effect on our security also. The, uh, yes. the Red Sea is uh, an important uh, link between uh, the two sides of the Arab world and that's why we have to guarantee the security and uh, uh, in this lake and I think uh, Egypt and Saudi Arabia are working together in order to guarantee 100% uh, you know, security for this uh, Red yes. Sea. And uh, of course, the, uh, the Mandal Strait is so important and vital for the Suez Canal. So all the security of this area, I think it should be under the supervision of two big countries, Egypt and Saudi Arabia. So uh, also President Fatah Sisi met recently with uh, Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed, the UAE Crown Prince and Deputy Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces in Abu Dhabi. And uh, they both agreed to continue to work together in order to confront regional interference and attempts to show divisions among the countries of the region and cooperate to confront uh, any risks and challenges that may arise. So how do you evaluate the Egyptian and UAE relations at this stage and their uh, cooperation uh, to confront the different challenges in the region? Well, the last meeting in Sharm I think, uh, came in a critical juncture yes. in the, the whole world, not just in the region, and that's why Egypt and Iraq are Emirates, they are always in a constant you know, consultation and trying to have um, the strategic, uh, our, let us say, common strategic views yes. uh, towards all the issues, uh, even in uh, Ukraine and uh, some other issues in our region. And this is going to be also a very good base for the, uh, uh, the Arab, uh, let us say, stance yes. uh, when it comes from the uh, views of the uh, United Arab Emirates and Egypt. Uh, so the last visit, I think it was important in a very critical period of and in the meantime, I think uh, uh, you know, is facing a lot of challenges. Yes. Security challenges now, and I think Egypt always proved that they are, uh, you know, behind and beside this country and uh, to maintain the security and stability. So, sir, finally, uh, concerning Egyptian-Kuwaiti relations, uh, we have seen uh, a cooperation uh, in the 13th session of the Egyptian-Kuwaiti Joint Ministerial uh, Committee, and, e and Kuwait vowed to increase investments in Egypt and exploit the opportunities available there. So, what are the incentives needed to increase Gulf investments in Egypt? Uh, Kuwait, uh, all you know, has this kind of uh, prudent uh, diplomacy. And they are always seeking uh, to have a peaceful solution for all the crises and the challenges which we are facing. And that's why uh, the uh, both countries, the, uh, Egypt and Kuwait, I think they are working together. And in the meantime, uh, we have a lot of uh, good investments, direct investments in Egypt. And of course, we have a big community in Kuwait that are part of the yes. uh, modernization and uh, stability also in uh, that uh, Important country in the Gulf. So, the, um, uh, as you can see, the uh, Egypt is trying to establish uh, a lot of, uh, or let us say, 
um, the good and uh, stable relations with all the Gulf states, and of course, uh, Kuwait is included in this Gulf state. Yes, uh, finally, I'd like to thank you, for Minister Mohammed Orabi, former uh, foreign minister. Thank you, sir, for being with us. And uh, by the idea viewers, we come uh, to the end of uh, today's edition of uh, Cairo Local Time. And we hope all the best for the Egyptian national team in uh, its uh, match uh, with Senegal at 7 p.m. Cairo Local Time. So uh, stay tuned for the match and uh, show break, and we'll be back. So stay tuned.